Southampton 2, Chelsea 3. We had, uh, the model said, three goals or more, 50% roughly, as far as I remember. So we didn't have a bet on that one. I went for less than three goals there. Because, well, again, that lost because we did have three goals. And that went for three goals. So I think I went for less than three goals, but I think I, I did hedge it. So um, I did manage to get out of that one. So not good. Um, all three, well, if I didn't bet on that one because it was 50-50, there was no value. There was value there and we lost. And there was value there and we lost, but there was opportunity to hedge. I mean, to get out by half time and stuff, um, the odds had improved. So what did we learn from that? Well, I mean, there's always risk in, in betting, but we knew that anyway. I'm also, I'm going to look at, I'm just going to comment on what happened and, and the tweaks I'm, uh, I'm going to make. And also, I'm just going to look at the West Ham Stoke match today. So what I'm going to do from now on is use the puzzle model and also compare it to what the raw stats say. So if I go to soccer stats, I can also get this table. So, you know, for the puzzle model, I use the scored conceded data. So, you know, I, I type in the, the average home and away and that kind of thing. But it also has uh, the overs and over and under table. And we can see here, okay, why is that table acting up? So this is the home and away, this is a total, but I don't know why it's, um, it does do that occasionally. So this is home. And we can see that Burnley have three or more goals only 25% of the time. So that was the reason why uh, I was happy to bet that uh, Burnley were were going to get less than three goals. That only happens very rarely. At the same time, Leicester, who they were, who they were playing, have three or more goals when they're playing away 65% of the time. So it, it's one of those, we have both singles. I mean, if I, if I, if I just looked at Leicester, then we'd expect three or more goals to happen. While if I just looked at Burnley, then we expect it not to happen. Likewise, if I look at the Liverpool-Bournemouth game, well then, Liverpool do have three or more goals more than half the time, but the odds were as if it happened 70% of the time. The odds were too high. Likewise, oh yeah, the point here is that, so Liverpool at home average three goals and they have three or more goals 60% of the time, but Liverpool away have three or more goals 76% of the time. So essentially, you want to back Liverpool to have three or more goals when they're playing away. At home, it's not as clear. Likewise, for Bournemouth, when they're playing away, they score they have three or more goals 59% of the time. So again, more than half the time. But Bournemouth at home have a very high total. So in that respect, when we had uh, Liverpool Bournemouth, we were, we were looking at Liverpool at home and they don't score as many at home as they do away and Bournemouth away and Bournemouth don't score as many away as they do at home. So, you know, the it wasn't as clear cut. So it was a reasonable bet. Finally, just looking at Southampton. So Southampton at home have less than, um, or I mean have more than three goals very rarely. So Southampton at home are low scoring games. 
what happened to Southampton at home we ended up with five goals while Chelsea away do tend to have um, see there 69 percent so Chelsea are more they have more goals away and not as many at home this year I think last year they that was the, the, one of the great bets they kept having uh, three or more goals at home I mean that was vague recollection of that so what I'm saying here is that I want to add I want to compare when I look at a match I want to look at this table and also the predictions from the possible model because this table is just raw data this is just telling us um, this team tends to have three or more goals at home very often so we can just bet using this we can we don't need to do, have any you know fancy Poisson model when we can just use the data so I can look at this and go Man City at home 88% so I'd be looking to back uh, three or more goals when it's Man City at home and we also have the one and a half goals three and a half goals you know so we have pretty much all the data that uh, we'd want not only that if you go down the table we have the fail to score clean sheets and both teams to score so for example if you look at the fail to score and I'd, I'd looked at this after I'd made the Burnley Leicester predictions Leicester have only failed to score in three out of 17 games away so I thought that the chances were that Leicester were gonna were gonna score I didn't think that Burnley were gonna score twice so clean sheet away where did Leicester go here so Leicester seemed to let in goals uh, away also which means that the, the chances were that we were going to end up with the both teams to score yeah so away Leicester have the highest both teams to score in the entire division so that was the interesting bet to make I wouldn't have expected Burnley to have scored twice maybe I don't know so this this isn't making any assumptions this is just looking at the data this is just counting how many goals each of the teams have scored while the Poisson model is modeling the rate at which a team scores goals and then uses that to make predictions so then the question is which one is better I mean here where we we know in the possible model there's a slight mismatch that uh, nil all results happen more often than the possible model says and that kind of thing so there are rival ways to go about looking at things with that in mind and just, and just to wrap up um, I'm just going to look at the West Ham Stoke so this this isn't one of the five games this is more introducing the new technique so for West Ham Stoke West Ham at home three or more goals 47 percent of the time so you know not all that not that often Stoke away three or more goals 56 percent of the time so it's need it's 50 50 on the three or more goals I'm also going to look at the one and a half goals so Stoke 75 percent of the time West Ham 80 percent so we're talking about both teams say 75 80 percent of the time uh, one and a half goals I get the data for their 
the number of goals scored by West Ham at home and Stoke away from here. Plug them in. And this is saying three or more goals half the time. Two or more goals, 75%. Home win, 61 So the rule I'm going to use is that if the number is higher than 60, then it's a signal. So if the number is 60 or higher, I would call this a home win. This is higher than 60. So I'm going to say it's two or more goals. This isn't higher than 60. So I'm not going to bet on. So if it's higher than 60 or lower than 40, that's a signal. For binary events, for the what result is it going to be? There are three results, so I don't know. But um, the primary, I mean, the, the five video idea is to look at the number of goals scored, so not to get distracted. So I'm going to say two or more goals, because that's 75%, that's higher than 60. I'm uh, not going to make any statement on three or more goals, because that's just 50%, so uh, there's no value there. And that's it, really. So now we'll see how that match goes, uh, West Ham Stoke. So the, and, and that pretty much sets things up. Oh, so if am I comparing both of them? So basically I'm saying if I use the POSO model is saying nothing on the three or more goals and it's saying to back two or more goals. What is my rule for the other model so the other model being if I just use this I'm gonna say if both numbers are higher than are both if both numbers are in agreement then I'll make the bet if one is saying it's gonna be higher than three goals and the other is saying no then it's gonna be a no bet so I'm gonna leave that so that's my rule for using this table if I do that uh, West Ham, that's higher than 50. So it's a yes, yes for West Ham. Uh -huh. Oh no, that's a total, sorry. Change that. This is home. So West Ham is yes for one and a, more than two or more, but not, no bet for two and a half. And Stoke away, it's, it's a yes for two or more. It's a no bet for three or more because that's not higher than 60. So they are both the Poisson model and this table are saying it's going to be two or more. It's too close to call on the three or more. Fingers crossed.